So, you're the little darling trying to marry my little sister. I have a contract for you, and a check for $2,063,043.99. Do you want coffee? Harry, two coffees. You know how I like it, and get mine right this time. Yes, that is a lot of money. <laughs> At least for someone like you. How do I put this? I want to pay you to go away. <laughs> I'm not your attorney, but I can walk you through the clauses. As an overview, it would require you to cut contact with Andromeda. You are to move to another state, change your number, delete your social media. The next few pages detail what you are to do if she contacts you, which escalates to seeking a restraining order if necessary. You understand my meaning perfectly. We wish to buy you out of my sister's life. No, 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 don't get me wrong. I know you love her. I priced you very carefully. Do you see the bottom two lines of this spreadsheet? Your payout is itemized. See here? $6,352.88 for love. $802,233.41 for fear. The rest of the money is in this spreadsheet. Travel opportunity costs offset against the possible inheritance and subsequent divorce, etc., etc., etc. I measured you carefully, human. I do not cast a wide net because I know what I intend to catch. You fear life without her a hundred times more than you actually love my sister. Think about it. You sheepishly return home each day, thoughtlessly. You are with her for convenience, for protection, for financial security like a parasite under her skin. And you are terrified she will realize just how useless you are. Can you at least try to think five years in advance? Do you feed her? You know her body mass is five times yours, right? <laughs> a person of your station has difficulty feeding the equivalent of a family of six. Here. This is the chart detailing the nutritional requirements of an adult drider. It's Wait, oh shit, this is the wrong report. Harry, this is a centaur nutrition chart, not even close. That's half the right number of legs, Harry. Harry! <sighs> He's probably still busy fucking up my coffee. <sighs> anyway, let's see, let's think this through. She buys the groceries, you pay rent. Did she tell you how much of a disadvantage to her that is? Or that mother keeps the accounts topped up? <laughs> Even the apartment is insufficient. She is meant to spread out, to sleep, on a web. She needs about a 30-foot cube of wide-open space, and you do not have that. Sleeping on a mattress will eventually cripple her. It damages the base of the spine. One day, she'll lay down with you, and she'll never be able to get back up again. And that's before you consider the fact that Mother will not give you to a red scent if you persist. Simply put, you will starve. Horrifically. It's happened before, trust me. I want you to picture your children freshly hatched, eating each other, then you, then her. <laughs> You're incapable of loving her the way she needs to be loved. You two just have an ordinary affection. I want to think the best of you and her, and that's the kindest explanation. You don't see how you're hurting her. Because if you did love her, you'd have given at least some thought to her happiness, to her needs, to her culture, and you wouldn't be making her choose. If you cared, you would remove yourself. You'd save her from you. So, make it easy. Let her go. Sign the contract, take the money. Forget. You have no right to take my sister from us. We're a family. We'll take care of her. Just sign the dotted line. Sign it. Go set yourself in order and go ruin someone else's life. Here's a pen. God damn it, Harry. My nice fountain pen is dried out. Did you put them away properly last night? What? No, I told you they have to be put away with the pen facing down so it doesn't dry out. Give me that. Ugh. And this coffee has way too much milk. What the fuck? <sighs> Harry, you're fired. Yeah, that's right. You're fired. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Get the fuck out of my office. God. Honestly, 
God, you can't buy good help at any price these days. <laughs> Deplorable. Well, are you waiting for something? The ballpoint pen will be fine. Sign it in blood for all I care. <sighs> well, since you asked, you'd need to pull about $70,000 a year to provide for a drider. And that's bare-bones poverty. That's after Andromeda's Etsy store, by the way. Duh. Yes, I just said. You can't buy good help at any price. Besides, cheap is synonymous for flimsy in this business. <laughs> I catch your drift. And no, I could rescue you from your predicament by giving you a job, but I won't. You wouldn't last a week as my assistant. Harry could barely measure up. With the way I run my law firm, you'd think it was the good old days of matriarchy. <laughs> Trust me, you'd be better off chained to an ore, or selling your blood, Plasma. Why exactly would I waste my time with you? I'm trying to get rid of you, not throw you a fucking lifeline. <sighs> but Andy, I know, I know, it's not about you, it's about her. So I have a better idea. We'll add a little addendum to the contract. You'll work for me. For now. But if you quit, or I fire you, <laughs> which is most likely going to be the case, the contract comes into full effect, and you disappear, with none of my money for good measure. <laughs> you want the job or not? Everybody gets what they want, presuming I'm right about you. Excellent. <laughs> Oh, your first mistake was not negotiating a higher salary. As an act of supreme nepotism, I'll bump you up to what I was paying Harry, though you don't even have half his resume. Consider it a little gift from me. <laughs> Give Andromeda my love, by the way. <laughs> you won't last a week. Coffee now. Splash of milk, two sugars stirred with a cinnamon stick. Darkest roast they have. Got it? Oh, by all means, move at a glacial pace. You know how that thrills me. <sighs> Hurry up, new Harry. <sighs> I don't care what your name is. I don't see any reason to use it. <laughs> really? Handing me your coffee? What are the odds of that? Mmm, cinnamon, sugar, dark roast milk, fat... <laughs> Oh, I grabbed the wrong coffee from Harry, didn't I? Well, go get me that report on Dryder Nutrition. The next time I chew you out, I want the correct diagrams. <laughs> Smartass. Honey? Oh my god, honey. The text just said at work, explain later. It's so late. What happened to you? You look... A little fried, to be honest. I called. They said you hadn't been in all day. You called in for a day off. Where were you? What... What did Lilith want from you? I hope she didn't bring you into the middle of this. I... I need to explain some things about my family. I've been getting a little money from my mom since college, and, well, it never really stopped. After I washed out, she just kept sending checks. We never really talked about it. Until today. I was telling her about you and what you do for a living, and I told her that I really, truly was marrying you. I don't want consorts. I don't want Chattel. I want you to be my partner. She asked me on how we planned on supporting ourselves, and... I didn't... know. I just didn't know. I'm probably never going to make enough money making scarves and blankets with Etsy Bitsy Spider to pay my own way. Honey, 
I haven't told you, but I've been sneaking out to buy more groceries while you're at work. I go almost every day. That's why I made such a spread for the holidays. You'd had so many days off in a row, and I got so hungry. I didn't want to gorge myself in front of you without an excuse. <laughs> it's bad. Not only the grocery bills, a lot of bills, really. They're more than I was telling you. Like, a lot more. I was embarrassed, and I'm so ashamed. And I didn't want you to feel half as bad as I did. I know that's no excuse. I was being selfish. I wasn't honest with you. And I've gotten you in a mess, and I'm sorry, and I don't know what I'm going to do. <sighs> Mom is cutting me off. Permanently. If I marry you. To get in her graces again, I've got to go back to school. And she has some partners in line for me. High-powered business types with no character. <laughs> you know, empty suits. And to quote her, Get rid of the loser. <laughs> like, if one of us was a loser, it'd be me, right? My family will never see it that way. We're the old line, each a sovereign, needing nothing from others. That's not me, though. I'm the one who can't pay her own way. <sighs> At least you have a real job. You're the one pulling late nights and keeping the lights on. I've... <sighs> I feel like I can't be your partner. I'm supposed to bring you up, not weigh you down. I know, I know you probably can't stand me right now. I can hardly stand myself. I, I don't know what we're going to do, but I, I promise I'll never hide anything from you again. I don't know how we're going to get through this, but I want to get through it with you. I love you. I need you. I'd rather live on the streets than need anyone else like I need you in my life. I, uh, I'll, I'll start eating a ton of beans and rice to save money. We'll move somewhere cheaper. Do you think I could get my old job back at Hot Topic? I've always been able to stock the t-shirts in like 10 minutes and I'm very mood which is a good thing, apparently. I felt like crap selling cheaply made clothes, though, but it pays better than Etsy right now. I'm, I mean, it's, it's a reliable paycheck. And if it takes something like that, then I'll... <sighs> okay. We can look at the numbers. We'll make a real budget. Whatever it takes. I'm not going to be a burden on you. And as selfish as this sounds, I can't go back to school. I just can't. Finals hospitalized me last time. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I just can't handle that kind of stress. I wish they understood. The life they want for me scares me. <laughs> Thank you, darling. I don't know what I'd do without you here. What did Lilith want with you? Or did she just want to keep you out of the way while mom tried to crack me? What? What kind of job? 
No. No way. You can't work for Lilith. All of her law partners are her consorts. She'll eat you alive. Honey, she might actually eat you alive. If she called you in for a job interview, it's some kind of trap. Oh my gosh, darling. That is a trap. She's going to fire you the first chance she gets. She'll fire you even if you don't give her a reason. I think. I don't know. I'm scared. It's scared for both of us. I wonder why she didn't activate the contract on the spot. Did, um, she make a big show about how she's got you all figured out? <laughs> My dear sister can be an absolute idiot sometimes. I mean, she's a genius, but she never fails to outsmart herself. She's going to prove she's right about us, and she won't let you go until she gets her satisfaction. <laughs> she never will. Because she's wrong about us. They can't tear us apart. Whatever it takes, whatever you need, I've got your back. Just like you've got mine. And what you'll need for tomorrow is some proper attire. <sighs> no, darling, you do look lovely in that one off the rack, especially once I brought it in a little. But I'm talking about real clothes. Oh, I know I'm a snob about this. It's genetic. You've just got to indulge me and let me do my thing. Right now, actually. We've got, what, ten hours? Let's start with updating your measurements. Hmm, I thought the first time I'd tailor you would be for the wedding. Black with red trim, I decided, for the big day. Family colors, but the cut would be very human. I've already finished a white shirt for you, so we'll borrow that for tomorrow, and I can finish the rest tonight. Hmm, gray pinstripe, I think, for office attire. Yes, you'll look the part. Gosh, it's a little exciting. How do you feel about a tie? I've got the fabric for a hound's tooth pattern. Or else cream striped with the palest, palest pink. Hmm. It's lovely, really. You can't see its two colors until you're very, very close. It'll be our little secret. Huh. Socks and pillowcases are one thing. But I'm making this out of the real deal. Royal silk. My royal silk, actually. As warm as flannel, yet never overheats. Holds a crease like nothing else, soft as pajamas. The only thing is, royal dried or silk isn't durable at all. Requires constant care from the spinner. It would fall apart in weeks by itself otherwise. If you ever see someone wearing it, it's because somebody cares about them enough to put in the effort. The constant labor of love. And I'll make yours last the rest of our lives. Can't be bought, and nobody would dare sell it. Only given. From me to you. My love. My brave warrior. Off to the lair of my sister. This may not stop a bullet, but it will be a suit of armor. She's old-fashioned, my big sis. Maybe, just maybe, she'll see you in this and hesitate. The grain of the fabric will be different from all her consorts. It will mark you as different. You might work for her. But she can't own you. Maybe she'll look at how I've dressed you and get it through her head that I'm never going to let go of you. And if she sees that, and how hard a worker you are, she'll stop worrying so much about me. She's not a bad person. We used to be close. Mother was never around, so ever since I hatched, I latched onto her. I wish she hadn't grown out of her goth phase. She was fun. <laughs> oh, my back. It's okay. 
Why do you ask? Uh, well, yeah, mattresses aren't great for me. It would be nice to sleep on the web, but I'm a cuddle bug. I want you to hold me and tickle my nose to get me to stop snoring and lay together and talk a little in the middle of the night. Uh, oh, I... <laughs> I guess, if you want, I could wrap you up and carry you into the web, if you want to try sleeping there. If, well, you checked my browser history, you'd find some diagrams for how to do all sorts of stuff suspended. Hey, nice stuff too. Cozy stuff. Usually we wrap our legs around our prey when we sleep. But there's other things we could try if that seems impersonal. I could add another dimension to the web, make a little shelf for you. Then you could be the little spoon in my arms without me bending all weird. Yeah, I think I would like to try that if you don't mind. No, that's totally an urban legend. You can't break your back just lying on a mattress. Totally made up. My mom used to tell me that, but my doctor set me straight. Besides, I would have told you if that was even a possibility. Speaking of, are you feeling tired? You've had a long day. Stressful, too. Lilith is probably quite the taskmaster, as bossy as she is. You should get as much sleep as possible. Why don't you go to bed? I've got all the measurements I need. And you've got an early day tomorrow. Don't worry about me. I can catch up on the rest tomorrow. And when you get home, I want to hear all about your day. I won't let you down, darling. <laughs>